Well, good morning. I'm uh, up and at them early. You can't imagine that. Uh, I wind up, uh, you know, the, the ranch, Texas City and Springs Ranch is where I really like to stay most of the time. The, uh, at least when I'm not on the road. And uh, anyway, it's about 45 minutes from the office, uh, located 12 miles southeast of Seguin, Texas. And why that's important to me is that uh, I like to stay out there just because I like being out in the country. I like uh, being away from the city and being away from a whole lot of people and being able to wake up in the morning, hopefully on the way out the gate to the to the uh, front gate anyway, I get to see a deer or two and get to drive past some cows. And anyway, it's kind of like a little bit better connection with nature. But I get up early in the morning and, and I look forward to getting up every single day. And, and even if I'm not going on a trip like uh, this last trip to go get eaten up by bugs and try to chase bears, but uh, uh, regardless of whatever I, uh, I'm doing during the day, I got a full plate. I am going wide open from literally the moment my feet hit the floor to the moment that uh, uh, my pillow hit my head hits the pillow at the night. So anyway, uh, I'm heading to town right now. I got to stop off and see my buddy Santos and get my ears lowered, and then uh, get in the office and start knocking stuff out. I've been working on a project for about. Uh, probably about two months and I'm going to show you what that project is as soon as I get in the office and I think I'm fixing to uh, I'm fixing to wrap it up I've been dedicating a little bit of time on it and I'll wrap it up here hopefully today with some help so stick with me all right how do you like my haircut ha 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 I like it shorter than this but anyway that's the shortest gonna get a lot of people have been asking me to show what our office looks like on the outside that's our office on the outside right there and I got, uh, I'm fixing to walk inside. I'm going to, I'm going to show you a new addition to the inside of our office right now. All right. You come in my office, there's going to be lots of dead stuff. Okay. On the walls. And this is the way we kind of honor critters. And then, oh, I'm going to show you what's new. What's new. There he is. There he is. Can you see him good? Can you see that? That right there. Is my baboon okay I don't have a name for him yet but uh, anyway I got him back from Comal taxidermy yesterday and he's holding ooh what's he having his breakfast okay if y'all have a name for the baboon I sure would like to hear from you suggest a name for the baboon all right so in the conference room here I've got a mess it if it looks like a mess well it is kind of a mess. Look at this. These are all drives, okay? And the drives that we wound up putting our footage on. When we started doing everything uh, off of tape and on HD, we thought, man, it's going to be so much easier. We're not going to have a bunch of stuff scattered all over. Ah, not really. Uh, let me show you what I'm doing here. See the little green piece of tape on top of every one of these? That means that I have spent the time in that chair right there looking at every one of these clips or every one of the, I think I should say folders that what we've got I'm gonna I'm gonna walk in here and show you the way we used to do things okay back in the day okay this is a tape closet I want you to take a look at this now I've been doing this a long time and and we got these shelves when we built the office a long time ago we had all these shelves put up I just want you to take a look at all these videotapes Okay, there's tapes. You see some empty shelves because those are actually, that's a good thing. I like seeing the empty shelves, but look at this. I mean, all over. I mean, we've got this right here. We've got all these old tapes. And and to be honest with you, I mean, there's guys uh, like Dylan working in the back. He didn't even know that you had to record and hit it on the tape. I mean, tapes, I mean, for, for me, it just seems like, you know, that's the way we did this like yesterday. But anyway, but back in the day, we wound up, for example, R right here. We got R on this. It's a redfish tape from Rockport. And T for trout and B for bass. And, and so anyway, that's the way we used to do things. But now we've got all this footage condensed on these drives. But organization of these drives is extremely critical. And so what I'm doing is I am trying to come in here in the conference room and make sure and clean up so we can get organized and I don't know if anybody else has a problem getting organized or not but I don't slow down long enough really to organize but I think uh, I'm almost done see the green tape on almost every drive I've got about a half a dozen drives left to do and then giddy up I'm, I'm done I'm gonna pick this stuff up label it all put it up and then 
Uh, that way, when I need to look back and say, okay, where, where's a shot of uh, me back 20 years ago when I was, sh was shot on elk in New Mexico with a bow? Boom, we can pull it right quick. So anyway, uh, that doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun. It's kind of like walking down memory lane here. But uh, anyway, it's got to be done. Do you ever sometimes want to pull your hair out? Yeah, I don't have enough left to actually pull out hardly. Anyway, I'm still working at it. Still working at it. Still making progress. And I wish I could get to do some fun stuff, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something here. When when uh, somebody's fixing to go out of town here at the office, their stuff gets set right here. Okay. And I'm jealous because Maddie is fixing to go out of town. Uh, she has no idea I'm walking back there right now, so. I'm gonna have her tell you what she's doing, see what she's up to. All right. Hey, tell everybody where you're going. I'm going to the Dakotas and I'm gonna slay some prairie dogs. No, how's that? I'm stuck in the dead gum conference room on a job that has literally been taking months to do. So anyway, Maddie is uh, on her way and, and I'm sure that she's gonna be posting a lot of stuff on Facebook and some Instagram stuff. And I'll, meanwhile, I've gotta get back in there and uh, keep working on what I'm working on but I'm damn near done all right so I got a day off what do I do on my day off <laughs> you're fixing to find out you didn't know I could do that huh well with Johnny's help we got her done actually we're not done I got about 15 more minutes of work to do I need some put some stripping on that end down there and uh, reason why is I ran out of nails actually that's probably a good thing because I'm running out of gas it's time to go to town get some uh, nails some water and some, get the air conditioning all right everybody everybody needs to turn turn the TV down all right uh, it, it's time for our early morning reading. Um, it's, it's, there's Colton. Colton hadn't been on here in a long time. And there's Maddie. Good morning. And there's Johnny. Good morning. And Ryan will be here in a minute to help. I'm so grateful I've got some help today. But anyway, and so we're out at the ranch and I'm going to read some. If for those of you who, uh, had missed the vlog earlier, I don't know, weeks ago, whatever. Uh, I like to kind of read a little saying, and and, and I'm going to read y'all a little saying this morning. It's, it's something to remember. It's something if you want to be special. Okay. The saying is, to get what you've never had, we must do what we've never done. Are you listening, Colton? Yes. What did I say? To get what you don't have, do what you don't have. Done. What you've never done. Boy, did he listen good. Okay. Johnny, here's a test. Maddie, look yeah. at me. Huh? Huh? Did you? Okay. No, seriously, to get what you've never had, you get. You need to do what you've never done. So anyway, that's kind that's of the way I live twister. my life. Huh? That's a tongue twister. And so what I wound up doing, I and that's what I kind of do in my life. I push, 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 push. And, uh, and anyway... So today, what we're going to do, we're going to have, uh, uh, we're, I'm going to see what kind of carpenters these boys are. <laughs> we're going to do something we've never done. Happy 4th of July! Oh yeah, and happy 4th of July! Yeah, it looks like Maddie's, I'm, I'm going to sit here while, uh, while I'm doing this, I'm going to show you all something. No, this is our not, awful picture. No, here's a, there, there's a picture here in the ranch house, right, this little picture here, okay. I look like a little ogre. I want you to take a look at that. Not that one there. That's Maddie holding my godson Grayson right there. But then that is, look at that. Maddie and Colton right there. So anyway, everybody looks kind of silly when they're young, but Maddie looks silly when she's older. Huh? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get to work. I don't 
know if you can hear me all right or not, but that is rain. Lots and lots of rain. And we need it. About 10 minutes ago I said, oh, it's not going to rain. It just looks like it. It's coming down. We got ribs on. Maddie's making burgers. And it's the 4th of July. Hey everybody, it's the 4th of July. I am getting some burgers ready to put on the grill. It is pouring down rain outside, finally. We have had a very dry summer. So uh, we're gonna have some elk and it's mixed with some beef just to give it some more fat so it holds together better. And we're gonna have some burgers, we're gonna have ribs. I think we have elk tenderloin. It's gonna be a feast to say the least. It is not very often that we get rain like this out here. and We are really, really crossing our fingers that it stays a while. I mean, it's probably been raining about 15 minutes already. Probably got a half an inch, and I mean, it's looking good. Maddie's putting the burgers on. It won't be long until we start eating, and I hope it keeps raining. What a 4th of July. You know, you gotta think about it. How lucky are we to live in a country that we've got the freedom and the, uh, and the prosperity, I should say, to be able to do what we do. And I think that's pretty good. And I want to thank everybody that has served, that is serving, and their families for giving us our freedom. So what do you do on the 4th of July? Okay, what we're doing, I know the place looks like a mess. And it, ah, it may be a mess, but we're having a hell of a good time. The, uh, go ahead, Johnny. Let's see what you got in the oven, bud. Look at that. He made me a rack of ribs. Oh, ribs. God. Now, I got to tell you this. He actually made them. Look out. He made them using this. And I don't know if anybody has ever had ribs with syrup on them before. But that's the way he made them. And we're going to give them a whirl anyway. But we got burgers. And we got the, some spicy, spicy, spicy guacamole right here. And we're fixing that get it on what a sight to see in the morning you got your windshield wipers on and the rainbows that's pretty cool i'm getting kind of a late start today uh today is actually uh, uh the 5th of july um i'm uh on my way to the office right now we had a hell of a good time yesterday i mean we we just had a really really good time and uh the kids were all out at the ranch and their friends and we wound up we uh been a lot of fun. But anyway, back to work today. And I don't know about y'all, but man, today already feels like a Monday to me. And I'm sitting here thinking, how cool is this? The drive to work gives me time to be able to sit back and yeah, think about what I got to plan and strategize to uh, get accomplished today. But more importantly, I look at all the country out here and I think, how cool is it to be an American? There are people that are watching this vlog that are from Europe and Asia and all over the place. And, I, and I'm thinking, you know what? They're probably... I don't know if they're as proud of being uh, a European or an Asian or whatever as, as we are Americans. But I think, you know, yes, you being the 4th of July, and, and I just look at it and I think, God, are we lucky to be able to live in a country like America. So right now, it's time to buckle up and get in the office and try to pay some bills, make some money. Okay, so uh, this vlog has kind of been all over the place because that's kind of the way things have been for a while, all over the place. Uh, Anyway, but things are fixing to get good now. I've spent a lot of time in the office, and what time I wasn't in the office, we were uh, building some stuff at the ranch, and you got to see all that on the blog. Uh, and we're going to end out this blog. I'm going to I'm teasing you for the next one. I want you to walk outside with me here, and I'm going to show you. What do you see there? What do you see there? Right there, and right here, and I'm and you're going to hear it first right here. We're going to be doing something that. Uh, those of you that have watched me do fishing shows years and years ago, uh, you're going to be you're going to be uh, surprised to hear that. See the guys behind me? You got Josh and you got Dylan, and we're waiting on Johnny right now. And what we're going to do? We're going to go out and film some fishing stuff. And so that's what the next vlog is going to have on it. But we're also going to be surprising people because we're going to be making some fishing videos if they bite. <laughs>